<laughs> what do you do when your dream dies? Do you sit down and cry? You just give up and watch it die? Or do you give it one more try? My name is Sam Pitch. When I was six, my family and I fled a terrible civil war in Cambodia, and we crossed an ocean and arrived on the shore of Western Australia as refugees. The heaviest things my parents actually took with them were their dreams. And Australia was a land of opportunity. It still is. Put up your hands if you've ever had a dream. Awesome. <laughs> At 18, I marry my high school sweetheart. At 19, we have our first daughter, Lily, who's doing the iPad at the moment. Hi, guys. Five years later, Eve comes around. All planned, of course. Um, during this time, I'm getting two university degrees so we can live the dream, that is, that I will become a visual arts high school teacher my wife would be able to stay at home with the kids. And we could live a life of comfort and long, long holidays. Yeah? <laughs> or so we thought. Along the way, expenses grew, and so did our debts. And each year, we just seemed to get a bit further behind. The months seemed to grow longer. At 28, with a marriage on the rocks, we decided to give the dream one more go. We decided to ride this wave called the mining boom. We invested a small fortune, all that we had, which was about $30,000 at that time. We borrowed even more money from the bank, and we all put it and pulled it together, along with my parents, into this amazing investment opportunity, which was like a, a trucking business for this mining company. And we put it all in the hands of this very reputable businessman. Everyone knew. So it was all good. The money and the returns looked awesome. Six months later, the very reputable businessman decides to take a holiday in Europe one way. <laughs> Not to return. In the process, he takes $126 million of investors' money with him. Some of it for some people, it was little, all small time people, and for some of it, it was everything. A couple, of my, a couple of months later, my wife follows suit, and I go from a professional high school art teacher to a single parent pension. With two kids in tow, and no one to help me. A couple of months later, a bailiff comes to my door, asks for the keys to the car, and he informs me that I still have $70,000 in unpaid loans that I didn't know I had to my name. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes when it rains, it truly pours. <laughs> so, at 28, I'm physically and financially bankrupt and emotionally broken. And if it wasn't for my daughters, I don't know if I'd be here tonight. <clears throat> so let's fast forward, fast forward five years. And at this time, I'm diving into personal development like my life depended on it. Look, I was seeking. In the good book, it says something along the lines of, if ye seek, ye shall. Amen. And I, I had no idea what it was. All I knew was I wanted to be free. I wanted to control my life, my destiny. I wanted out of the rat race. So who here has ever wanted to be free? So if there was a class, I took it. If there was a seminar, I went to it. If someone recommended a book to me, I went and picked it on Amazon and bought it. And um, if there was a harebrained scheme, that was guaranteed for me to lose even more money, I made sure my name was on it. 
<laughs> and despite all this bullshit, it was barely a year ago that I began watching with horror at the scene that history was repeating itself. At this stage, I'm married to an amazing German master for us, and we have a baby girl on the way. But here I am again. I'm working 60 to 70 hours in a job I absolutely hate. <laughs> <laughs> Barely seeing my family. I'm, my body is breaking down because of the stress, bad diet, eating junk food just to get through the day. You put up your hands if you've ever felt out of balance in your life. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Look, we've all felt like that way. Sometimes we're just so busy chasing an income that we forget to live a life. We forget to follow our dreams. So one day in April, now just picture this thing, okay? It's, uh, it's past dinner. Me and Iris are having a cup of tea around the dinner table. I have all these brochures and pamphlets from various business opportunities. <laughs> I'm about to go any, many, mighty, more, any one because you know what? I'm not 100% sure. If they all look good. I, I don't know. And my wife, in the most casual voice, goes to me, darling, I've been looking into something. I'm a bit excited about it. I've done my research. I think you might want to look at it. Now you gotta, you got to understand, right? My wife is a mild-mannered German master florist. The only thing she gets excited about are roses, ranunculi, French panties, and, and obviously me. Oh my god. So, when she goes up to me and says she was excited about something, just a bit excited, she might as well drop like an F-bomb on my lap and strip herself off naked because that was like huge for her. My wife doesn't do the stuff. The crazy stuff is for me to do. She does the normal stuff. So, I immediately get on the internet. I look it up. It's called Arthogenics. I order the products because at this stage I'm just doing it for my health at the moment. Just happens to have a side benefit. Awesome. Um, I get on the products. I have a fantastic experience. Within the first week, um, I'm feeling an amazing amount of energy. Um, I'm able to cope better with stress, and um, you know, I feel like I've got my mojo back for the first time in years, like literally years. I'm feeling good. A few months later, I decide. Uh, no, a month later. First, first month was just the product. A month later, I decided to give the business side of it a go. Mainly because all these people are going to be, what the hell is happening? You're jumping around. You're happy. What are you doing? What's this? What, what? I'm going, ah, this, this shake stuff. So I, I start the business. And in the short period of time, it's really short when you think about it, in the last really eight months, I've been able to build a financial foundation, a financial wall, that will serve my family for a lifetime. It's still being built. But it's still built. But tonight, I want to talk about you. I want to talk Aww. about your dreams. I want to talk about those big, bold, imaginative dreams that you had when you were 13, 18, 20? Because unfortunately, the worst and smallest type of death or dream is the one where we neglect it and starve it to death. And it usually starts with the words, someday I'll. And while we're waiting for someday I'll, what do we do? Instead, we settle. We settle for a job, we settle for a car, Settle for a house. Maybe some of us settle for apartments. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we, instead we, we decide to opt in into a life of quiet desperation. Instead of living a life of joy, of contribution, of amazing health and wealth and adventure. Now I don't have to tell everybody here because you're here tonight, but. 
outside of this room, in Australia tonight, let's talk about New Zealand, let's talk about America, let's talk about the most Western countries. Most people are in front, uh, sitting on their recliner chair, staring at the TV, half comatose on alcohol or something else, just going, oh, trying to get through the day, and looking at the clock and hoping to God that somebody will burn down their workplace and half the colleagues in. <laughs> <laughs> because in a couple of hours, <laughs> there's going to be an alarm going off. And it's going to go off on Monday and Tuesday and thank God it's hump day and thank God it's Friday and all that stuff. And we know how it goes. So, like the, like the ad says, Okay. Now, as corny as it sounds, this is not a business opportunity. It's a dream opportunity. It's an opportunity to get your dreams back. So right now, I'd like to take a few moments and just awaken your dreams. Just take them off the shelf, dust them off the lid, and give them a go into the sunlight. I'm going to ask you to think about five things. I'm going to imagine that this is a magic wand, because it is, and you had unlimited amount of money, and you had all the time freedom you had. So imagine you had money was not an issue, time freedom you had lots of that. What are five things you would love to do? What are five things you would love to do? What are five things you would love to have? Who would you become if you had all the money and all the time in the world? Who would you help? What charities and foundations would you set up and contribute to? Where would you travel? What would you buy? Now, honestly, if money was no object, now, we're talking like millions of dollars. You didn't have to worry about money again. Who here tonight would still decide to keep the same car they have and not have a different car? <laughs> Who would love to have a different car? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ladies, how many of you would have a bigger wardrobe? You know, walk-in closet. Oh my God, oh, yes. Shoes. I don't know. Shoes. Who does do it? <laughs> So what that tells me is that you still have dreams. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Here tonight, because you're supposed to be here. And maybe you're not ready for the business yet. And that's okay. But I hope tonight that I can have the honor of planting a tiny seed in your heart and your brain that in years to come will grow into an amazing old dream. So, what we have here is a business where you can literally have unlimited income potential. It's a business where you help, where you will become successful by helping other people reach their own success. It's, a, it's one where the more money you make, the more actual time freedom you have. So it's not where you're going to have to make lots of money and have no time freedom, or have lots of time freedom and have no money. The more money you make, more time freedom. And you get to choose your own hours. You actually get to pick the people you want to work with, so you don't have to complain about your colleagues. Um, it has numerous tax advantages and obviously fantastic travel opportunities. Now, the startup cost of this opportunity, to this business, is stupidly low. It's like $25. I'm like, and you get a multi-million dollar website with it and product fulfillment. It's all done for you. Finally, you get to eat your overheads. And you don't have to have a garage load of crap in, in your garage. <laughs> so, let's very quickly compare um, three um, general startups. Okay? So, I'm going to go to Subway. Yay, Subway. I love Subway. Chicken teriyaki. Yes. Um, I'm going to go into uh, personal training, franchise, and of course, obviously Arsene Jennings. Okay, Subway. 100, 100 grand to start up with. 
Yeah. Then you have to have, obviously, you have to have a premises, so you obviously can buy a premises, so you can rent your premises. Once you get the premises, then you have to buy all the equipment for it. Once you get the equipment, then you have to get all the, uh, the stock and all the food and loads of meatballs and teriyaki chicken. And um, <laughs> once you've got that, you've got the advertising, then you've got the royalty, then you've got insurances and paperwork, and then you get the employees. Let's talk about a personal training franchise. I actually built into this because I was doing personal training at one time. And so we got something like a step into life. 45 grand up front, you would then need to buy yourself an actual company car with the trailer. Um, then you'll need to get all the equipment for it. Then you actually need to get all the franchise um, merchandise with it. Um, then you have to pay all the statutory insurances that come with it. Then, you, then whatever money you make, you actually have to give them royalties for it. And with both of these, on the low side, we're talking 40 hours a week. On the average side, talking to a friend of mine, 80 hours a week, which is going crazy. So, 80 hours a week. And if they're lucky, if they're lucky, in two to three years' time, they will become profitable. So there's no money in the first two to three years. You're just doing this just to get to break even. So let's talk about isogenics. With isogenics, I would start with the president of the pack. $555. So you're talking about a 30-day pack that has a blend, that has product B, that has the two bars, um, I, I don't know, it has everything that you need to start off your business. Okay? Um, your $25 enrollment fees are part of it. Fantastic. And do we still have to pay postage and handling? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah $15. Um, so it's $570. Okay? That's it. You, you're in business. That's all you need to do. After that, you have to have 100 BB a month and you have to be on order ship. You eat the food yourself, you love it, it makes you happy, it makes you healthy, your family loves it, you'd be on it forever and a day. But you're in business as well. So, <coughs> let's talk about how you get paid in isogenics. So, it starts off with obviously you. As you. Get all the products, have an amazing experience. You ask them what the hell are you doing? You share the whole thing with them. You say, I'm on this stuff. Why don't you try it with us? Right. Awesome. So you get Jack, you get Jill. <laughs> you want you start on the president's pack, obviously you're gonna recommend the president's pack. Fantastic stuff. Um, so the great thing about isogenics is every time somebody enrolls and becomes a product user, you actually get what's called a product introductory bonus. It's like a rebate. For the president's pack, you actually get an $80 rebate. Awesome. Um, and the really cool thing is if you get if you get two people to join up in the same calendar week, Monday to Monday, isogenics actually doubles that amount. So it's an 80, it becomes 160 for Jack. You get 160 for Jill. That makes 320. When you do this, you're in business. That's it. Two people, end of story, you're in business now. You will then actually qualify for the first rank in Isogenics, which is called consultant. And to say thank you for it, Isogenics gives you an extra $50. Oh, yeah, beautiful stuff. Okay, next part you do, and uh, you can do this in the first day. I've right? seen people just, okay, right, who do I go with? Great, awesome. So, next thing you do is you help Jack and Jill share with two people. So, you go to Jack and Jill. You go to Jack and Jill. Who do you know? Who do you know who needs more health, needs, um, you know, who needs to lose a bit of weight, Who's you know who's suffering a bit? Who do you know who's an athlete that might want to put their performance forward? Who do you know that might want to age more gracefully? Who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? I tell you who they know. And get on to two people. Jill does the same. Jill puts them on president's pack. Jack puts them on president's pack. He does exactly what you've just done, and he becomes consultant. He makes himself three hundred and seventy dollars. Jill makes herself three hundred and seventy dollars. They're loving the stuff anyway. This is just like a very cool bonus. 
for, for helping Jack become a consultant, for helping Jill become a consultant, you actually get $100. Very cool. $100 here, $100 there, there's an extra $200. So that's up to $570 at the moment. Definitely do it within the first 30 days, within the first week. Definitely, very doable. So, when that's done, I said, Janice wants to say thank you again. So, if you can do that within the first 30 days, you become what's called a crystal manager. And they will actually give you an extra, it's just stupid, $250. It's <laughs> $250 right there, just for doing what comes naturally, what people are going to automatically say to you. So, I don't know, I'm not even doing my math. It's uh, 450 Oh my God, it's like $820. So, that is awesome, doing what you're doing naturally. The next top of levels is, um, there's director, it's just this again, times by three. three. Yes, doing just this, times by three. Two more times. Just two more times. Just two more times. And um, they give me something stupid like $750. And the next rank, the final amazing rank, which there are a couple of people in here who have done it, is um, executive. And you have to do that how many times? Four more times. And then they give you an extra thousand. Oh my god. So <laughs> thousand. So that's just upfront bonuses. What you're forgetting, someone there, I'm not sorry. Yeah. Is that you're also going to get a hundred bucks for the software you help create on the first twenty. Yeah. So you're going to get that's where my difference is, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're going to get hundred bucks every single time. So you've, you've, you've now done it ten times. And you've got ten times a hundred bucks. Plus a thousand. Plus a thousand. And what are they doing? Don't they have more? They have more money than sense. But hey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, and the final thing is, it's all good to have upfront cash. I mean, there are obviously many companies that give you fantastic bonuses upfront cash. But the magic is in the back cash. It's in the residual income. You know, I won't go too further in, in, into it. But it's, you know, every single time, you know, let's say 300 here, 300 here, that we get points for every single time you buy something with a, a president's pack, you get 300 points. Essentially, when you get 300 points on one side, 600 on another side, something very sexy happens, it's called a cycle, and you get <laughs> not, you know, nothing else sexy, but if you get enough money, it's very sexy. Um, $54, you get $54. And I remember the first time I cycled, I went, oh my God. I had all these bonuses, and then it just came. I cycled, and it happened once a month, and then it happened twice a month. Then it happened 10 times a month. Then it happened once a week. Then it happened four times a week. Then it happened seven times a week. And I literally did nothing. I was at home playing my Xbox <laughs> and money was coming into my account. It's a beautiful, magical feeling when other people get the vision that you've got. So, now, first things first, some nitty gritty. Some of you who are new might think, oh my god, that looks like a pyramid. It looks like a pyramid suit, yeah? You know, there's a pyramid there, it might be a scheme. Now, I'm here to tell you right here, and just very matter-of-factly, this is not a pyramid scheme. Pyramid schemes are illegal, and authorities crack down on them. What it is, is a pyramid shape, <laughs> that's all. I mean, the, the difference is we have real products, we help real people. So, the only reason why, you know, this could just essentially be, you know, the whole structure for Apple. It could be the whole structure for your school. You know, principal, headmaster, school. So it's just, a pyramid is just the strongest structure to man. So that's what we use because it has the stability. It helps everybody. So it's not a pyramid scheme. And at this moment, you might be wondering, oh my God, is this a get-rich-quick scheme? So I'm going to be totally up front with you. It is a get rich quick scheme. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so much quick uh, Look, Let me explain. If you can dedicate, you know, five to ten hours a week, if you take it seriously, if you can, if you put some commitment and passion in, you can, and I'm not guaranteeing this, but you can become financially broken in just two to five years. 
like complete financial freedom and time freedom with that. Now, there's no guarantee, but I, I look at the grace, I mean, and when I'm saying grace, I'm obviously talking about um, David and I, we really started from nothing. They had none of this money when they first started, none of it. And um, it just didn't happen last month. And they, they started from two people, and they grew an organization with tens of thousands for four to five years. And now they're off on some amazing trip of a lifetime, living their dream. And they worked hard at it for four to five years. And they never have to worry about for the remainder of their lives. They could, they could just go off to Mars, or who cares? You know, just, <laughs> get the money. Um, it's all sort of done. So, and, I looked, and I looked at Bev and Maurice, who were my mentors. And in 12 months, they became six-figure earners. And nowadays, they just travel the world and travel around the countryside, popping like the Leyden brothers. So, <laughs> if it's possible for them, it's possible for you. No, you really have to understand that it's more than possible for you, it's past possible. Because, you see, there comes a time when you have to control your own destiny. Um, you, you gotta, you gotta, to control your own destiny, you actually got to sacrifice. You've got to be able to take some sacrifices. It's going to take two, two to five years. It's going to take five to ten hours a week. It's, it's going to take you doing what others refuse to do, so you can live a life that others never will. So, now we know it doesn't take a lot of money to do this. What, you know, one person pack, pack the starter. You can even start lower than that, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, now, and we know it doesn't take a lot of time. So what does it take? So what does it take? It takes a dream. It takes a dream. It... <coughs> If you don't have a dream, if you don't have a burning why, or if you don't even have a smoldering reason, you'll never find the ten, you'll never find the five to ten hours a week that you need to do this business. Um, because you're busy. We're all busy. I, I understand that. We're all already using all 24 hours of our day. The difference is David and Irene spent the first four years using their time totally differently so they can use the remainder of their lives totally differently. That's the only difference. You just gotta have that burning why, put your time into it, and have that dream. If you don't have a dream, you won't be able to make this work. You're just doing it because you've got nothing better to do. When the first obstacle comes, you'll, you'll go away. So, this business is called network marketing. And it uses two foundational principles that all rich people throughout the dawn of time have used. And if you don't actually use both of these principles, I'm sorry, you're not going to become rich. So, because unfortunately, the default setting for humanity in general is not one of financial freedom. It's one of financial slavery. So here are the two foundational principles. One, be your... Own boss. Oh crap. Um, <laughs> please don't do that. You need to become the CEO. You need to become your own CEO. To reach financial and time freedom, you need to be able to wake up, walk to the bathroom mirror, mirror and know you're speaking to the boss. Okay? Because as long as you're working, all you're really doing is you are helping someone else's dream come true. When you could be doing your dream coming true. Second one. Two. Leverage. All extremely stupidly rich people do this. They employ leverage. So, um, Warren, Warren Buffett used the millions of dollars of other people's money to invest and he became a billionaire. We have Steve Jobs, who was Apple, who used the efforts of millions of Chinese workers and passionate geeks to make Apple. You will make millions of dollars employing, um, you know, hundreds and thousands of satisfied product users and just a few business trailblazers. That's all you need. And you, you've got it, you're, you're done. Ask again is let you be that boss. Let you work for yourself, but you never buy yourself. And you get to leverage the entire efforts of your team and people above you. And there's only one product that Isogenics has that is more powerful than its actual product. And that is its wealth product. 
And when you really understand its ability to change your life, your family's <coughs> life, your community's life, you will get excited about it. So, finishing up. So I want to ask you one more time. Are you willing to live your dreams? Are you willing to make a few sacrifices? Because if you are, we have a vehicle here. And it's not just about making a whole bunch of money. I mean, $50,000 is great and all, and that sounds really impressive. But what's really impressive is a couple who are on the edge and they make themselves $1,000 extra a month. And they get to go on a holiday to Fiji. That's impressive. Or the, the, you know, the, the single mom who makes an, an extra 500 bucks so she can get her kids to a really good school. What's really impressive is who you have to become on the road to become a millionaire. Who you get to help. The, the lives you get to change. That's impressive. The money is just a side effect of it. So, I have a couple of questions for you. And then I'm done. And I'm only looking for one word answers. Okay. Question number one. Please say this out loud. Question number one. Do you really believe you're worthy of success? Yes. 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 Question number two. A bit louder this time. Are you really willing to live your dream? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Question number three. Last wow. question. I want to hear you blow the roof off Wembley. <laughs> and then I'm finished. Because all this, all this comes down to this one circle. You. Okay? It all comes down to you. It only works if you believe in it. It only happens if you make it happen. And all these other people here, all the millions of people, they're not just circles, they're people. And you're going to affect the lives of these people. And if you're willing to believe in your dreams, if you're willing to not let them die, if you're willing, you know, it's okay to cry when, you're deep, when your dreams die. die. I know I have. But it's not okay to just stay there. <coughs> you have to dust yourself up and go for that dream again. If you're willing to put some work and some passion, some commitment into it, then this, then I promise you, Isogenics and this group around here, this group in Australia and America, we will be right beside you, all the way, cheering you on. So now the last question I'm going to ask is this. Based on what you heard tonight, based on what you know about the company, about the products, based on what you know about your own sponsors, based on what you know about the products, and based on what I told you about, and what you've told me about your dreams tonight, are you willing to give it one more try? Yes! yes. Okay,